Can you smell that? Well, that, I'm sure, is probably just the smell coming from King's Landing. And if you're wondering why we can smell King's Landing, that's because, of course, you're looking at the new Lord of Rosby. And Sorik himself, who's leveraged his intrigue, who's leveraged alliances and favors and everything to finally grab himself a little bit of land. We've taken back the traditional hell seat of Strongmead, which of course we'll hold on to, we'll upgrade, we'll keep. But uh, uh, making Rosby our capital, I think, is uh, a very fair point. It's much more fortified, it's much more powerful, it's much more defensible. And for a paranoid man, that would be lovely to have. This is like the, uh, this is like the family summer home, which we'll probably... Probably get around to upgrading to for just tax purposes or something at some stage. But we have two major goals that we have to achieve. Otherwise, everything Anserik's done could be falling apart. Could have all been for nothing. The first one, of course, is our family's Valyrian Steel Sword, which has fallen somewhere. It's It's gone somewhere for sure. Let me go find it quickly. This boy here, a totally random unlanded boy. Of course, unlanded now that we've taken back our castle. We've got to get this sword from him because he has our dynastic Valyrian steel weapon and I don't like the idea of this kid having such a valuable thing and also being a wanderer because if he dies now if the game decides let's prune this child we're in a lot of trouble can we abduct again oh we can't we can't abduct him for a year put him on the list put him on the list we need to keep a very close on him can I invite him to court is that even possible unrelated child oh you're a child a wandering child randomly out there in the world I do not like that at all um is there anything I can do for you we could marry him to a courtier. Hmm. Marry him to our lover. He will not accept that. Because they are related, there is a chance of them being inbred. No, surely not. How could they be related? How is that even possible? Actually, how are they related? That's a good point. It's our cousin's child. But she's not related. How could she possibly? She's our courtier and our lover. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows how they could be related? Um, if, is there a way we could we could force this through? Because he's just gonna. Oh, she's got a scandalous reputation. Okay, hold on. Let's have a look here. What about my spy master? Absolutely not. Oh my god. Okay, so all of the um, he, he will accept a marriage to my daughter. At which point we get him to our court. We find a way to take his sword, and then he dies, and then we marry off our daughter to someone better. That seems good. You like that idea? I think that's a good idea. It's certainly, um, very viable. It's certainly very viable. Worst case scenario, no, I accidentally married my daughter to someone who's not particularly valuable. But my daughter has much more value than ever by bringing our Valyrian Steel Sword to our court. Will he join us? He's at least locked in now. He won't, he won't disappear from the game, even though he is still wandering. We can just invite him to court. I'm sure he'll join us. Our next highest priority, along with getting back our Valyrian steel, is of course getting a duchy. We're four out of two on our domain size, and there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could... Now, I like the idea that, that someone floated of, of kind of endearing ourselves to Stannis, uh, Stannis II, of course, and trying to get ourselves elected High Lord by putting us in a situation where we'd be likely to get that off of him, right? It's very, very difficult to get, and it would all be kind of luck-based too, which I'm not a massive fan of it. Lots of people suggesting the Mountain in the Vale, because of course House Aaron are a bird, we're a bird too. So we kick him out, we become top bird, like a goshawk is. Or alternatively, we go for the rock, so instead of the golden lion, it's the golden goose. Both are very, very good options. I think that's something for the long-term play. I think that's something that... We're, let's not worry about doing everything with one character. He's already achieved quite a lot. We've we've quintupled our land size, right? I, I, well, obviously way more than that. We've taken into account just the holdings. We've taken back the family seat. If we take back the family sword, I think that's a good, nice start. I, I think if we aim a little bit lower... And just simply go for the Lordship of Rosby. That's probably the best way to go about things. How long... Can we assert the title if we control... Yeah, two, two or four of the, the counties. So all we've got to do is realistically grab one more. And then we kind of land him, right? We can just grab it from him because we have... Oh, can you assert the title if he's still landed in it? Or is it like... Is it similar to CK2 in that regard? I don't remember. We're going to find out either way. We're just going to do it because... I mean, it's the next logical step, right? So let's start fabricating claims on... If we go for his capital, I presume there's a chance to just fabricate one on the entire county. Oh, uh, sorry, on the entire duchy, which is a uh, 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 bad kingdom. So we're going to go for that. <laughs> this is interesting. Lately, I've been pondering the education of my son, Merrick. Is stewardship the appropriate direction? Since being trained in intrigue myself, I found a particular knowledge to suit me well. Surely it would do the same for him. Oh, God. See, I wanted to do something different. I didn't want another entry character so that we could start developing the realm and building up the house. You know, part of it is the daggers, sure. But another part of it is the golden goose. And right now, we haven't really got much gold to be considered the golden goose. That we're making very little money. 
We can switch him over to Intrigue. We can force the switch, at which point you personally choose for him to make up for any lost education. You gain 35 stress. My concern is that he's supposed to be a stewardship character and he's 11 Intrigue at the age of 11 years old. I mean, his stewardship could still come out okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the best way to go about it. Oh, varying skill sh set is only beneficial. This will further his stewardship education focus. Fine. Fine. Yes. A varying skill set is beneficial. I agree. Because when we're ruling all this land, we need somebody to actually rule the land, which is something Anserek is not prepared for. With six stewardship, we're struggling right now. So we're going to do a couple of things to try and solve that. We can put our Castellan onto... Oh my god, we can't put him onto stewardship. It's about the only thing he can't bloody do. Master John? Fire Master Baron. What's he going to do? We'll have him killed. Oversee the realm. Gives us plus four stewardship. Oh my god. Negotiate with vassals. 26% vassal tax. That's crazy. Plus four stewardship takes up to uh, four out of three on our domain holdings. We could marry for utility. Which again, he's an intelligent man. He knows how this goes. He knows what he's expected to do. Oh god, is he going to marry his daughter? Oh no. Oh god, she's the best person in the realm for it. He can't marry because he's still widowed. Okay. He could marry her because she is a... She isn't, like, publicly acknowledged as his daughter. And she doesn't know. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? Oh, God, it's horrible. Um, Theo the Craven. Can I do anything with him? Uh, not really. He's never going to have enough gold. I was going to take the vows. Why the hell would I do that? Yeah, there's nothing really I can do with this hook, unfortunately. So we're just, we're just leaving there. Right, let's start swaying the septum. Win him over. We've got a large realm, and, and his help is going to be very, very valuable at this point, I think. Then with the rest of our hooks, what the hell are we going to do with that? I mean, I could start fabricating for... Oh, fabricating for what exactly? We've got a hook on Stannis, right? Well, that's what we're fabricating now. Thought so. Um, I'll be honest, there's not a massive amount that we need. Do we have any vassals that are particularly upset by us? Master Baron at this point. Okay, let's fabricate a hook on him. That could be useful. So there you go. We'll throw one of those out there. And we've only got two schemes right now. So we're, we're, we're full. That's good. As long as we're doing something, I'm happy. The Ducks of Strongmead. Oh! My vassal, Lord Mathar, has been, tweeting, uh, has been twittering news of beasts spotted in my realm. I hear so much talk from Strongmead. It said there are excellent prospects of hunting thereabouts with many a worthy duck. That seems very appropriate for House Goshawk. Brilliant. We gained bird sighting for three years. Amazing. You certainly hope so. Falconry hunting has an increased success chance. We'll bear that in mind. We might come back to that later on. Really, I'm keeping an eye on this so we can cash out on Edma whenever possible so he doesn't spend the money on anything else. Oh my god, no. He's going to become an incredible entry character and, we, and, and I didn't go for it. Oh god, this is fate. This is such a Game of Thrones twist. Well, I was at the market with Merrick. His attention was caught by a criminal in the pillory. When well, the man begged for water, Merrick immediately promised to bring it and soon returned from a nearby well, cut, letting the criminal drink from his cupped hands. He gains compassionate, which lowers intrigue. Lowers dread decay. Lowers natural dread. Gives him diplomacy. The criminal is not even worth your attention. It stresses us out massively. He gains prestige, but it upsets... Uh, it lowers his opinion of liege and vassals, and it lowers his seems secrecy. Or... <laughs> listen, I can't talk, okay? I'm still a little unwell. Or we gain callous, which again gives him another plus two intrigue. Oh, God. Spit on him and beat him. He deserves nothing less. Oh, God. None of these are suitable. But out of all of these unsuitable things, the least offensive is probably Callus. Oh, God. He's up to 30 in Intrigue. Have I made a mistake? Have I made a mistake by not forcing him into Intrigue again? Um, okay, here we go. Train strategy has quite a high chance of succeeding. We'll always just go for the highest success. He failed. Merrick, you're an idiot. Merrick, you're an idiot. You need to be a knight. You need all the help you can get. Oh, Lord. Here we go. We can once again try and increase his Intrigue. He's going to have 50 in Intrigue. And he's going to get an education in stewardship. God damn you. Discover who he is on his own. Oh, it's critical stress. But you know we've got to do it. He's, he is our, this man is a high stress character. He thrives on the stress. I mean, he literally thrives on the stress. He gains extra intrigue for it. Not that we need it, but we can do that. Should get, he gained one intrigue again. This is, this is monstrous. <laughs> this is monstrous. And then we can just go back to the brothel and, and you know, he's had a hard day of educating his son. Goes to the brothel. It's all solved. Okay. But everyone by stress. It's fine. It's fine. It's temporary. As I meet some guards along the road, we meet some Faith of the Seven Pilgrims. They bow to me and pay their respects and even leave a small... Uh, and the leader of the small caravan gifts me some religious artifacts they're carrying as a sign of respect. Great. Look at the artifacts in my hand, musing on where their journeys will take them next. We gain some prestige for that. Oh, sorry. Some piety for that. Um, 
We can scream at Theo Clovering. Uh, perhaps I shall become unbearable to be around. We're just going to not shower and become stinky and become uncouth, which is just horrendous, and I don't really want that. Um, 701, I need a drink. We're becoming drunkard. Honestly, scream at this man, and then uh, go to the brothel. Scream at the man, go to the brothel. That's a fantastic idea. Boom. Okay. We lose 91 stress because lustful and rackish, right? It's, it's amazing. Very, very powerful. No longer overwhelmed by stress. That's all it takes. Little sacrifice here, but we make up for it quite easily. Hello. Um, ooh, we learn of Lord Stefan's sodomite secret. This is a duke. Oh, now that is a beautiful gift. And then we blackmail him. And then we blackmail him, and he will accept, and then we can just get that money back basically immediately, right? Because he's a duke. 50 gold. My son-in-law. My son-in-law? <gasps> Branta discovered he's a sodomite. Was that was that Branta? I didn't even notice. We've got so many spies everywhere that all the faces have started blurring together. What's happened to her? She's got lover's pot. She's melancholic. She's scarred. Oh, I'm going to kill this fucker. He's, he's... Not only is she uh, our character's daughter, but she's also our character's best friend. We're, look, she's done her job. She was there to get his troops. She's got the troops. She's given him a child. Let's get her out of there. And then also we've got our, our grandson on another duchy, which I think is very, um, very appropriate to do. We've got to bring her home. This is horrific. Right, give me the money. Give me the money and then we kill Doc Sighted. I love that that's a notification. That's so good. I've got to get rid of him. I feel so terrible for my daughter. I used her for a plot and I'm sure she understands. She, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. She's an incredible intrigue character. She understands the game, I'm sure. I think now we forget about the small fry. Get rid of Master Baron because we have a better plot that we can pursue. Either the murder, but more importantly, Gerardus Barrett, the man who has a Valyrian steel sword, can go in our prison. We get the sword back. I, I, in theory, somebody did say that we could we could take the artifact from him without the necessity of going all the way down this tree. Alternatively, in our prison, I wonder if we could redo the betrothal so that it's matrilineal. They have a child that's part of our dynasty. We kill him. That kid inherits all the stuff. That was suggested in the comment section. I agree that that's a much better idea than trying to become a diplomat, which really just does not suit him. It's quite disturbing. We'll move back over the second that we are, um, the second that we're able to, because this is a much better way to leverage his skill set rather than just trying to, you know, trying to, trying to cheese it a little bit, so to speak. Then, how long is this uh, hook going to take on Stannis? Three bloody years. Good God. We could do with somebody helping support our schemes at this point, because we're not doing so well on that front. Gretchel, move to support schemes, please. 85, 95 on Stannis, 72% on Gerardus Barrett. We need to go back to the intrigue plot, don't we? We've just got, we've got to do something about this, because this is, this is unacceptable. Okay, the serving staff at court are often conveniently overlooked. They overhear conversations, clean up and move unnoticed through the hallways. It's also a case of my acquaintance, Gerardus' court. He isn't at a court. I guess he's just stopping stopping somewhere in an inn. Um, yes, of course. Because we're a spy master, we're going to get informants. Very nice. A lot with the secrecy, but higher the success chance. Secrecy doesn't really matter. There's going to be no downside if we're caught, let's be honest. And there's our diplomacy lifestyle perk. I don't like it. <laughs> Groom to rule is obviously the one I think we go for here. Because that is, that is, honestly, Patriarch makes a lot of sense because we're rebuilding this dynasty from a fresh slate. So Patriarch, I, 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 I think that's the most, the most rational one to go for within this character's bounds. Merit gained two stewardship. That's actually really good. Uh, an East Gosh Hawk gained three learning. Very good. And then Lady Branza gained an extra intrigue. Oh, she's so good. I've got to bring her home. I think this might be the only person in his entire life he genuinely, legitimately has cared for. Oh, and she's just out there. Oh, I hate it. We're, we're bringing her back. We're bringing her back, okay? We're bringing her back, and we're going to bring her back as soon as possible. She's just got to wait a little tiny bit longer. Train. How's Merritt looking, then? Uh, 15 intrigue, 10 stewardship. Again, wasted that education, didn't we? Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. It was a necessary evil for the dynasty. Let's train that strategy again. Excellent training session. That's great. Amazing. How close are you now? You've, you've regressed massively. Willow died. Willow Waters, she's gone. Why? Died in childbirth. Oh, good God. It's horrific. Oh, it's horrific. It's so Game of Thrones. Oh, it's, it's awful, but it's so typical, isn't it? And now she's had a bastard child and nobody knows who the father even possibly could be. We know. That is awful. That, I thought that was a notification. I have to bloody click the fabricate claim button. Oh, God. 
That's really, really awful. I'm not sure if he's sad because he lost his lover or sad because he lost his daughter. <laughs> what we should do is probably, um, probably keep popping visit a brothel whenever possible. He's 46. 46, practically mummified, right? Here we go. 15 gold in exchange for Valyrian steel. I hope he likes his new quarters. It is an easy ransom. It's an easy ransom. As in, we're playing the ransom for the sword, of course. So I cannot just retract his artifact then. I was lied to. Could you believe such a thing? Could you believe such a thing? Unbelievable, huh? Negotiate release. Um, Recruit. Get him in our court. In fact, we can do a lot to get this kid here. We get a hook on him. Renounce the claims. Recruit him. If So in CK2, if, if a landless character dies, they have no living family members. It goes to their liege. So if we kill this kid's father, and then we kill him, I wonder if the same rules apply that the Valyrian steel would come back to us. Is there anything I can do here? Is there, is there any way we can go about this? I don't think there is. Break a betrothal, demand a payment. No, there's no way I can just, I can just take your... There's no way I can just take that then, huh? That's okay. You still have the Valyrian steel, right? There's no way I can just grab it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm glad we checked. I'm glad we checked. I'm, I'm a little bit jaded. I'm a little bit jaded because I thought we could do something like that. Sorry, where's my, where's my prisoner tab in this game? Um, right, let's go ahead then and let's, let's recruit him to court. Renounce your claims, gain a weak hook, recruit him, take the vows. He won't do that, which is fine. I'll just do that then. We'll just do that. We'll just bring him to court. That way he's safe. He's not wandering, but he is safe. We've gained a claim on the Lordship of... Egerton. Very good. Or Edgerton. And then let's get you, uh, my lovely Septim friend. So if we sit you there... Oh, we can't sit in there again. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. I, I mean, I don't mind really sitting here for a couple of years. What is it? Like 13 months ago. Sitting here and just fabricating the last of the stuff. And just to double check, can we... It's about four required counties. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking the way we do this is we fabricate another claim. We declare war. Get the four counties, see if we can usurp it, at which point it becomes our vassal, right? Which might be a bit messy. I don't know if that will work, because he's still a landed character in that duchy, but we'll wait and see. Watch your step now, Gerardus. Here he is. He really does not like us, but that's really understandable. Um, we could educate him personally. Keep him close. Keep him close. Buy an artifact for gold. Interesting. What mod adds that, I wonder? 80 buy artifacts. Ooh. Use a hook. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. Full price of 900 exceeds the short-term budget. We would have to buy it off of him for a small fortune. And because we now have that hook where we've released him from prison, we can leverage that. But it's 900 gold. I think that's 900 gold that even though it's a, it's a priceless Valyrian steel, a symbol of our house, there are other ways first that I would be willing to try. Worst case scenario, we kill him and the artifact falls to some random, uh, like his next closest relative. At which point we could probably just abduct them and continue the cycle, right? Regular habits. Uh, I've recently... Oh, we don't really need to do this, but there's no reason not to do that, right? Because we might get a negative in the future parts of this scheme. So we'll take that. Someone's trying to murder me. That's a shocker. I'm, I'm really not surprised at all, but it also really doesn't matter. Um, Master Baron, welcome back to the council. Though you're not trustworthy, you are very skilled. So that's good enough for me. We've also got an admiral now because we've got a, uh, a, a port, right? I presume the port's in Stromid. It could be in Rosby. Could be in Rosby. I'm not sure. Is it Wings Pass? It doesn't matter. We've got plenty of places where there could be a port. Either way, we've got our Admiral, which is which is pretty great, because that just gives us a little bit more tax, which is good. When can you marry? My friend, I'm a little bit concerned about those domain holdings. Still not. Oh, exactly situations like that, huh? Exactly for situations like that. We've got no agents that want to join the plot. Uh, we've got everybody on support schemes. Short of swapping again. What are, what are we... Two more years before we can do that. Oh, God, that's problematic, isn't it? Petition our liege. What are we going to petition him for? Send the bailiffs to help increase our county control. Actually would make a lot of sense. Uh, so let's, let's head over there and let's petition Stannis. He likes us quite a lot. So let's see if we can do something with that. Really used to anyway. Um, our road takes us through the treacherous parts of Freelock where a scan for dangers ahead of rushing bus grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? And it's my friend Walgram. He has a delicious fruit that could be poisonous. Obviously we're not going to eat it, but we'll let him eat it just to find out knowledge about poisons. He likes that. It's a harmless plant. That's great news. I'm as good as Stannis' throne where he beckons me to approach and address him. Okay, he is going to... Uh, 
say no. I'm truly sorry, but I would not be able to grant this request. If I would, if I, if I could, I would give you what you want. But please let this promise of a future favor suffice. We get a hook on him. We get a hook on him. Very well. Very well. I'll, I'll happily take that. That's okay. By all means. Slope! I hear Walgrim shout in panic. Soon thereafter, I hear a cracking sound. Um, okay. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're gonna be late. We can, we can be late going home. That's, that's alright. Thank you. And we've arrived. Thank the seven who are one. I can go inside again. Very good. Lose a little stress. I think there's nothing really to do now besides... Wait. The fabricate hook scheme on Sk Stannis is now invalid because we have a hook on Stannis. So if you don't mind, I'd like to bring my daughter home. Let's get rid of Lord Stefan. And then in theory, we could just invite her back, right? She said shares power with her liege. Oh, she's taken power. Spouse and regent. Oh, my good daughter. Oh, my good daughter. Okay, then. We should try. I should trust her more. Even though he's a disgusting, filthy man who's given her lover's pox and, and, and she suspiciously got scars, which I'm not a big fan of, but that could have been anything, right? I shouldn't assume blame. He is a filthy man in that he is spreading disease and he's quite literally a filthy, stinky, old, farty man. And I don't like that, but she's clearly got him wrapped around her little finger and, and is sharing power with him. So you know what? More power to the daughter. Let's trust her. Let's trust her and let's trust that our education of her is sufficient. Benfrey. We can't kill Benfrey. Benfrey also has no children. He's 55. So I'm a little bit concerned that we might end up fighting House Frey if we're not careful. House Frey have a lot of allies. There are House Freys all over the bloody place at this point, so we need to be very careful. Um, other than that, what plots have I got left now? Okay, well, I don't need to worry about my door, sir. I could start killing off maybe his grandparents. Just ensure that he has no living relatives at all. So, I mean, legally, I'm sure we could... We could, we could take his artifacts at that point because they're just, they're just, there's no, there's no owners, there's no claimants. They should revert to the, to the Duke or the soon Duke. Merrick, Merrick, you need to become a knight, my friend. This is pathetic. 60% chance. If he fails again, I'm going to, okay. I was going to say I'll throw him in the bin, but he's done all right. He's, he's back down to zero. He's, he's actually ticked right back down to zero. Oh, he's so pathetic. Okay. Uh, the cask of wine, it is a 32% chance we'll kill him. This is not the way to do it, but we're impatient. So, you know what? Send it. Oh, my God. We got so lucky. Oh, God. Lucas is dead. Walled up, soon to be forgotten. He followed me willingly, drunk on merriment and wine into the cellar. Came to visit his son. His son, who we have a hook on, probably didn't want to say, Father, help me. I've been kidnapped. May you rest in peace. Maybe, maybe uh, Anserik is able to spin it. No, no, no. You see, I had to bring you here for your, for your own safety. I had to bring you here for your own safety. You have a very powerful relic, and I want to ensure that you are safe. There's probably something like that. And now his father has disappeared. Disappeared into our basement alongside the other eight people we've buried in our basement. We're not going to have a basement before long. I'm going to have to dig a new basement. Right. Moving on then. Next family member of yours, if you don't mind. Um, Brandon the Bywater. Who are you? You're not who I want to kill. Uh, did his other family member die and it passed on to someone else? Hold on. Hello. No. Who am I? Who is Bar Brandon of the... B am I killing the wrong man? I clicked that and it took me to the... Oh, I see what happened. I clicked past it. Oh, I'm a fool. Okay, well, that's good then. That's good. Okay, I thought I'd done something terribly wrong then. Right, and then what else have you got here? House Barrett. Six living members. There's Lord Darman, Lord Danwell, Tomad, Karen. I could just kill them all because that would guarantee that it's coming back to us, right? We've killed one dynasty, yes, but how about a second dynasty? Benfrey just died. Benfrey just died. That could be problematic. Converted to Red God. Now, someone in the comments brought this up, and I, I said it was a very fair point. It's actually a great idea that if the realm starts converting to uh, the Red God, and pressure starts being put on, as a cynical character, we'd probably be quite quick to convert for the purposes of manipulation, right? So certainly something worth keeping on. Oh, this is nice. We actually get a skill. Um, he's going to become a poet or a journaler. Or have a bath. Okay. He wrote, A simple spring in my heart. I wonder what secrets her mask protects. For surely this woman is free of defects. For her life is my life and our life to be. The beautiful start of a family tree. Truly, I'm one of the greatest artistic minds of an age. Very good. Um, Fucking chat GPT shit. <laughs> widowed. Uh, widowed. Uh, who's he written about is probably a better question. Do you think he'd be a poet or a journaler? Don't know about rhyming. 
gives learning, and then poet gives diplomacy, right? Diplomacy per level of fame, stress loss plus 10%, attraction, opinion, romance schemes. Okay. For a lustful little boy like that, obviously that's uh, has got to happen. Gerardus has come of age, and he is no longer our ward. He is, in fact, a learning character with pathetic intrigue, so scheming against a man like him will be uh, child's play. I mean, it all kind of is for... Oh, God, the trident. <gasps> so when Gerardus died, it was inherited to House Frey. Stannis. Big man. Uh, your, your territory is being swallowed up. And more importantly, what was supposed to be my territory is being swallowed up, Stannis. How the hell am I supposed to become a duke now, the kick-ass duke? I can't. I can't do that. High Lordship of Rosby under House Frey. Oh, I hate this. We could go to war, and for what? They slightly outnumber us. <laughs> Get an alliance with Stannis the Manus himself. Even then, they would still outnumber us. We're basically under the weakest liege going. The reach is massive. Uh, the Stormlands are quite impressive. Just say it's the Stormlands. I don't think they have that many troops. Those are a bit more of a bellicose culture, aren't they? Um... 41,000 men. Oh, that frightens me. Oh, my God. Does that frighten me? Okay. I don't think we can really do much at this point. <laughs> um, that really has freaked it up. I could start killing them, I suppose. What if we incite a revolt on Lord Arstin? <laughs> Arstin. Oh, what a foolish man. Uh, he deserves to be revolted just for that. What if we force a revolt on him, and then while he's fighting his revolt, we swoop in and grab some land while he's busy? What would happen then? Would her war then divert to us, at which point we'd be fighting a defensive war? So I think Stanny would come in, but I'm not sure. Worst case scenario, we surrender that war out, right? Or I could just try and abduct her children. God, what a piece of work. Um, okay, I think that could work. I think that might be the only way we've got to go in for this. Let's not worry about it. Though I would agree it's a slightly higher priority than the Valyrian Steel. The Valyrian Steel is right here. It's in our court. It's so close. And we're an impatient man. We're an impatient man and it's within our grasp. We've just got to push it through. Um, they would like for your courtier, Oswin Lynchfield, to become a squire of Ethan Longwaters. Sure. <laughs> okay, who are these people and why do I care? Yep, that's great. It's really good. Hello, my lord. A guard approached me with a parrot in so I found this creature wandering in the garden. Oh... Stefan, live here in court. Of course I will take a pet bird. Oh, no, it's the cat event again. No, fuck off. I don't know why it's doing this, because I changed the load order back to the way it was when it was working, and now it's just, like, not doing it. I, I assume a mod must have updated, because there's no other reason for it at this point. Okay, guess I'll be reloading. Note to self, refuse the pets. Even though we love the pets, we can't have them anymore. Sorry, Merrick. It will... Oh, I could give it to Merrin. I give it to Merrick. Yes, and then he's stuck in a constant cycle of trying to name the parrot. <laughs> Very much could be, though. Depending on how the event is sent to the AI characters. It depends whether it's all smoke and mirrors or they actually legitimately have to sit through the event. Oh, well, we'll figure that out. 86% uh, chance that Lord Delwell gets assassinated. That's a good enough risk for me. Shit. Durability of the bloody blade. Whose bloody blade? They tried to kill him with his own sword. Ah, oh, I need a new plan. I need a new plan. We will get him. We will get him. Don't just give up like that. We will get him. It's within our grasp. Remember, he's an impatient man. No! No! Oh! Oh, okay, move on to another family member. Move on. Move on to another family member. Get out. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can we can thin the herd. It's okay. We can thin the Tomad. Tomad can die now. We'll go back, like I said, we'll go back to intrigue, okay? It'll be just like old times. Just like old times when we wiped out. All those, all those different dynasties. Hand mirror needs repairing. It's for his vanity. And he does love the sexuals. Uh, Stannis, we could take 195 gold from. God damn. Can we really? We're still in his council, right? We are. What the hell else would I do with a weak hook? Um, I could change our vassal contract. Uh, which we could lower our taxes. Which is barely a change. 13% <laughs> to 19.5% or well, 19.5% of basically nothing is um not ideal. Okay, um we we could lower it, I suppose. Use a hook. What do you think? You happy with that? Your obligations have already been changed. Oh, cuz he's changed them before. We can't change them again. Bollocks. Okay. 
Okay, um... Is there nothing we can do with our hook then? Like, nothing at all? Oh, God. Okay, it's already been changed. Okay, uh, in that case, Big Stanny the Manny. Declare me regent. Oh, that's a great point, Stannis. Maybe I could be your regent. I need 500 prestige. Okay, never mind. Then. <laughs> I'm just going to take the money. I think I'll just take the money at this point. I can do more with that. I can do more with the cash than I can with potentially losing this, this hook. You can declare war on a lady with 25,000 men. Can I? Can I indeed? I could also declare war on Stannis and get smashed. That, uh, that I could also do. Murder's making progress. Good. Let's get these plots expedited a little bit now because we're falling behind schedule. If anything, I could do with that extra plot again, right? Oh, God. Oh, no. My Castellan. I'm sorry. I might have to sack you and replace you with someone with high intrigue. We'll swap them. And then you give me my plots back. Yes. We're impatient. We're impatient. We're impatient. So this this makes sense. This is playing the character. I'm impatient. He's impatient. We're best friends. Except he's done some terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, awful things that are unforgivable. He will burn in hell forever, but this will help us speed up our our murdery. Let's kill this one before it gets too massive. Ah, Jathany. Jathany Bon Appetit. Oh. Oh, no. It seems none of my agents are under suspicion, which means no one can trace the poison back to me. Goodbye, Janathy. Okay, and then let's go back to you, and let's take a look. Five living members. That's a good amount of living members. Lord Damon, have we tried to kill him? Well, let's go ahead and take him out. Good, 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 good. And then it, and then we kill him, and then there's nowhere else these, these relics can go. This is all possibly very unnecessary, but I'm not taking any chances. Merrick is finally getting a good training session, and thank God for that. How close are you now? It's still at zero. Oh, God, he's so terrible. Oh, he's so terrible. Oh, for God's sake. Plot's uncovered again. Well, we're going to stick with it. We've got spy discovered. Branta has been discovered as a spy for me. That's okay, because she's... She's, like, got power going, right? Okay, we'll see how it goes. Um, well, I don't think we'll worry about the brothel for now. Let's let's keep it on the, um... Oh, no, he's imprisoned her! No. Pay a ransom. I will pay a ransom. I'll just, I'll just pay it. Yeah, no, pay. Pay, pay, pay. Get her out, get her out, get her out. I'm now known as the Sharp. Oh, she shall be returned to me forthwith. That she will be. That she will be. She was caught spying for me. Oh, the sharp is cool, though. That's good. Friends and foes across the land know you as the sharp. We are very sharp, after all. As, as, uh, just, just ask House Cargill how sharp we are. Is she fine, then? She's, like, good? It's double jeopardy. You can't imprison her for the same crime twice, so she's fine. She's out. 50 gold well spent. All these plots are getting revealed. This is very frustrating. Okay, um, well, grind those rose hips. No, just make him spend the prestige. Okay, who can we go for now? So we can't murder you. I could just abduct him. Abducting him, took him in the, took him in the deepest, darkest dungeon. He's a ruler, so abducting them is is very difficult. Obviously, intentionally so, so you can't just kidnap people and then, and then ransom them back out, right? What if we abduct Tomard? Forty six percent chance. Okay. Um, who else is in your dynasty here? Sorry. Uh, Gerardus. Karen's already being killed. You're already being killed. So Tomard is the only real option then, eh? Okay. I'm fine with that. Can we swap back over to intrigue now? Boy, I miss it. No, not quite. Oh, God. How long? Uh, eighth moon. Oh, next month. Amazing. Good good news. Uh, no, let's forget about the brothel for a second. I'm all in on the intrigue now. We're just going to gonna blast ahead. Well, we did get one final diplomacy part that I thought was worth waiting for. Close family opinion increased. Diplomatic scheme increased. Befriend scheme power. I don't like... Ah, uh, man. I, I don't like the idea of using the befriend stuff for an intrigue character because it makes us like them as well, which for manipulation feels a bit... It feels a bit weird for the character, right? Prestige per dead. Benevolent intense sway. I mean, sway is a bit more valuable, isn't it? So we'll grab that one from the August train, then we'll go back to Skull Duggery. I like that. Maybe we'll start moving down to do so. Maybe we'll start moving down torture. Maybe we'll continue on with some spies. They've only really paid off once. And again, I feel like spies are better for a character who is less directly involved. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Time has passed, and I still feel a pang when thinking of my dear Lucia Hill. When will this pain cease? No, this is nonsense. Love is a waste of my efforts, and I will not give, another, give it another minute of my time. No, this is not right. We stay widowed, or I feel nothing anymore. We lose widowed, and we gain cold-hearted. General opinion is down for five years, and attraction opinion is down for five years, but we may also be refusing marriage, which is permanent, right? 
Oh, dear. Or do we just stay with the... Oh, God damn, this is a hard choice. He just, he just can't seem to get over her. There was something about her. Oh, no. I feel nothing anymore. He is cynical. He's a cynical, impatient man. He would just move on. Okay, we did lose the trade winner. That's good. Now, we can, given that he is heartless, quite literally has that modifier of, of, of heartless. We could marry a spy master, which would give him an enormous amount of, uh, intrigue, of course. Or we marry a good steward. And we hold this round together, despite the fact that we don't have any duchy. I think both are viable. I don't care about your damn artifacts. Get out of here. Um, I, I both, are, both are very viable, but I, I think what we want to do, instead of marrying our spy master, is just find a new lady to marry. Instead. Is that, is that, that's fine then. Let's, let's just do that. Um, this lady is 45. This lady is 46. 34. Benis. Great name. Really, it doesn't matter about her name, uh, her age. What matters is we can get her to court. With a bribe, if I send her a gift as well, her opinion of us would be quite... Probably significant enough. Send her a poem. Ah, work detail and their incompetence. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, I'd send her a gift. Against 41 opinion. And then maybe we could bribe her. Minus 5 still. Bollocks. Okay, I'm going to work on her then. We've, we've already started that investment. Is this sunk cost fallacy? Absolutely it is. Seducer will lose. We'll, we'll overwrite all our plots, right? So let's just start swaying her. We'll win her over. We'll win her over. Bring her to court. Marry her. She's the, the best intrigue character in the realm. Other than, of course... Uh, other than, of course, Anserik. 32 intrigue. They'd be a power couple. And he's clearly heard of her skills. He's a very informed man. Like, he's got spies all over the world. If there's any situation where it makes sense using the character finder to, to min-max, this is it. He has a character finder. It's called 500 spies hanging around. Goodbye, young child. Throw her off the, throw her off the ramparts. She's gone. It's been overwhelmed by stress. Don't worry. You can forget about murdering that child by visiting the brothel. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. It's an awful, awful, detestable, disgusting man. We can invite people to this plot. Ooh, hello there. It's not much. Throw a couple of bribes out here and there. We're paranoid, so that is going to stress him out. We can ask Stannis to draw us a map. It's unnecessary. Thank you, Stannis. We're 95% on that one, big man. Lover's pox. How? You have a lover still? <gasps> Gretchel. Gretchel, you son of a bitch. Beautiful Gretchel. She's given us damn lover's pox. Oh, for God's sake. Um, what about Sandor? How much does he want? 56 for you. No, absolutely not. God damn, no. Okay, well, 65% abduction is not really what I was after. We've got another assassin. 95% chance. And we have succeeded. Lord Darman is dead. Long live Lord Darman. Okay, that's another one down. Merrick has come of age. Oh my god, he came out Midas touched. Oh my god. Anise comes of age, and she came out big learning. Great. Big if true. I don't want them to marry, though, because we're going we're gonna to kill them off. Don't worry. Oh, we'll but you got 26 learning. Holy shit. Wow. Good for her. And what did he get? 16 stewardship, 18 intrigue. That's an interesting character. He's an evil craven. Oh, I kind of like that. It's very different to all the other characters we've been playing. I, I like that a lot. He's a callous, paranoid, cynical craven. God, he is a mess of a character. And what about these intelligent traits, then? They're just like... It's not actually applied, then, is it? She's, she didn't get intelligent. Does that mean he didn't get it, either? I don't know how it works. Unless we play as them? Hopefully in time, he will become as well. It's like it isn't applying correctly. Weird. I'm not sure how the mod is, is, is supposed to work. So that's okay. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, forget about that marriage. Forget about the marriage. Oh, forget it. Well, okay. Okay, hold on. Merrick, though. Maybe we just find him a good wife to help smooth out the edges because he is uh, not great. Maybe we find him a nice, attractive lady. We could go for alliance power if there is anyone. Uh, John Quill Glenshaw. We get an alliance with the city of Landingfield. Oh my god, is that the best we've got? Shit. Well, we might as well in that case go for... What do you think? We just go for whether or not they've got something inheritable? Try and find a lovely lady? A genius lady? A beautiful lady? Something to that effect? Somebody who might solve some of these issues? Because this is very pathetic. God, there's one intelligent lady in the entire realm. 
Maybe we just go for... What has she got? Delicate and quick. Potentially inheritable, right? Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, it's an alliance with somewhere. It's an okay match. It's an okay match. I don't know how all of these traits in this combination will work. The point is she's got skills, which is more important. I think. I'm not sure. I just don't know who the hell to go for here. Oh, this is a hard choice. Or should we let fate take its course and just see what happens? I should marry him off as soon as possible, but I think it would be far more interesting just to see if he, if he ends up with somebody impressive or good instead. So I'm going to roll with it. Right, let's deal with some of these people then. 65% chance of ducking him. Come on. Oh my god, we actually did get him. Holy shit. Chuck him in the dungeon. Goodbye. And then torture the hell out of him. Get tortured, stupid. Has to be done. It has to be done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then we'll just keep him in the dungeon and let him die. Okay, Merrick. Little Merrick. And worst case scenario, we kill that guy and the, 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 the artifacts go to the guy that's in our dungeon. And then we just wait for him to die. So either way, we're good, right? Um, train strategy again. 60%, 64% chance with the chivalry. An excellent training session. Very good. He's still nowhere near. Oh, God. This kid is terrible. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, I at least want to get this earlier in Steel Sorcery today, right? Can we do anything to Lord Danwell? We could attempt to abduct him. The chance of that succeeding is ridiculously slow. Uh, and then the only other living members are Tomard and Gerardus. So it's just Lord Danwell standing in the way of us in Valyrian Steel at this point. In theory. In theory, right? So even though we swayed this Ara lady, the elusive shadow with 32 intrigue, we still can't marry her. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna fabricate a, a hook on Lord Winston here. And then we can use that hook to force a marriage through, right? And that, that would just speed things up much much faster. We haven't just got to wait for some random opinion gain or something like that. Gain a pet dog. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think I can. What I have is enough. No. No, no, no. He's impatient. No, we need spears and we need them now. Brandly, brand, brandly newly forged spears for 25 years. Hello. Um, you want to pay the ransom? Ransom these nuts. How about that? Ransom rejected. My daughter. Anise is with child. Admiral Edwell is the, is the cause. Hold on. Oh, no! <laughs> no! You see what's happened, I assume? You can't even blame me for this one. Even though the last one was fairly debatable because she tried seducing him. This time, our uh, our lover, our ex-lover, Malia, uh, whose son is also our son, has just got our daughter pregnant. Our daughter, who's the daughter of our half-sister. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. The family tree is slowly becoming a family bush. Oh, dear. This is awful. Oh, dear. This is awful. Um... They shall marry. They shall marry. Send her... No. I sh we should deal with the consequence of her indiscretion. Oh, God. 150 prestige. That is a heavy hitter. <sighs> no more secrets. If we send her away, that's a secret people can use against us. We shall deal with this. You will marry her. You will marry her. Honestly, they probably... Be that's like best case scenario, right, for them. They are probably... So over the moon. Oh, but God, she's betrothed to him. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We'll deal with it, okay? We'll deal with it. I I'm going to deal with this. Just please. <laughs> Stress level three reached. I'm dealing with it. I'm just, you just got to stand by. I can, I can make, I I've got three plots available now, right? So why don't we, why don't we capitalize on that? Uh, we kill, we kill him, right? We kill him. Oh, God, but what if they go back to his grandfather? Surely they wouldn't. Surely they wouldn't. Oh, God, we kill him. Oh, I might regret this so much. Choosing my daughter over Valerian Steel. What a scumbag I am. What a terrible, terrible person. Okay, abduct him. It's a 14% chance with a 76% chance of a discovery. Oh, God. Okay, try again. Just keep trying. Get people in. Nobody wants to join. Really? No one at all? Why? Why won't you join? I like Lord Danwell. I like- you like Lord Danwell. When can I murder Lord Danwell? 
They're already scheming against him. Hmm. I've got I've got too many geese to cook. Now that's a terrible, terrible metaphor in this situation. I've got too many too many too too much something to something for sure. Too much bread to what is the what's the expression? I got too many things to do is what I'm trying to say. Fertility 30%, seduce skin power plus 30%. Dark insights. Ooh, that might be appropriate. I have torched a lot of people. Okay, dark insights it is then. Boom. Okay. Dark insights, and then that boy in my prison, if he doesn't die soon, we just keep torturing him. Uh, courtiers, prisoners, Tomard. Tomard, little Tomard. Um, what if I just execute him? Nobody cares. It's not a crime. It's not a crime to behead a man. Stannis can't do anything, right? Lord Dam will be upset. Unlawfully executed family. It's not actually a crime, right? Like, Stannis can't imprison me. His family could. They might swear a blood feud going to a vendetta. I think we just leave him there. He's poor. He's gone mad. He's gone mad in the prison. Well, that's good. And we'll just keep torturing him whenever we get the opportunity to. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. One thing at a time here. Oh, God. And then we've got to train this fucking idiot, too. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, chivalry. Chivalry for you, my boy. An excellent training session. How are you looking? Probably all the way to the top now. Nope. Not even close. Okay, then. Fabricate hook on. First things first. We fabricate. Oh, Hover died. Hover. <laughs> Hover, you big bitch. I didn't give you permission. Where is she? Because she's all the way up there. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We knew she was far away. Um, will she invite to court now? Z we're at zero. We might even need this hook. We are actually so dangerously close. Is there anything I can do? I've already sent her a gift. That won't help. Um, recruit as a spy? Oh, okay. Well, that might help. Um, I could just have abducted her. <laughs> I could have just abducted her, right? Uh... Okay, 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 this is fine. We're gonna get her in a second either way, and then our intrigue goes through the roof, all our plots will speed up, everything's gonna be fine. My friend, tell me about yourself. Yes, closer to a courtier. Oh, well, this I like, because he's a liked lord, apparently. Scheme has been discovered to murder him. No, I don't care. And then, I will stand up to this injustice. And in exchange for me standing up to that injustice, my, my fellow lord, I, I heard through the grapevine. My spy network, of course. Uh, that people have been saying terrible, awful, unthinkable things about you, my friend. Uh, how about instead? I'm, I'm a man looking for a marriage. I do not need children. I need companionship. Oh, you're telling me there's a lady in your court who's perfect for that? You don't say. Excellent. Lady Arrow of Briarcrest. We don't need to sway her anymore. She's our wife. You don't need to be friends with your wife. <laughs> in the bin with you. Okay. Lady Arrow is going to join us in our court soon. What a blessed day. Okay, let's get a new maester then. No, no one's going to be as good as Hother. That man saved saved Anserik's life, what, three times? And here he is, Yusen. Oh, he's actually very good. What's this? Disloyal. Oh, he's not. Okay. Disloyal. I'll keep an eye on him. Where most people see a relationship, Yusen sees an opportunity. I, you know what? I like that. I can respect that. I don't trust him, but I can, I can respect that if nothing else. Okay. Uh, they, they married? I didn't agree to that. <gasps> they left my court. What? I didn't fucking agree to that. I did not agree to that. I could use the hook just to drag him back. I used the hook just to hook just to drag him back to my court. I did not agree to that. You will return right now. We're back up to a 95% chance. My spy was discovered. Great. Okay then, good. We bought we bought that back. That problem is solved. My wife, uh, she's on court intrigue. What are we up to now? Fifty three intrigue. Balance is restored. Everything is feeling nice and peachy. How's the council looking? Surely we've got some better people than this. Um, my master arms. Why are you my master arms? Jesus, Theo Clovering. Um, you are my Castellan. No, I like you being my Castellan. We have a, an intrigue powerhouse going on right here. Ed, well, you're going to marry my daughter, so I'm leaving you there. Although I could make Merrick my master of ships. Keep him on the list. He is my son, after all. Not that he knows that. I'm going to fire one son for the other. Okay. Oh, he looks so pathetic there. Oh. Oh, no. He's not suited to this lifestyle. 40% chance of abduction. Damn, we didn't get him. Okay, try again. Just keep trying. My, my wife, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. We gave a lover's pox. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, th these things just happen, though, don't they? Do it. Kill Gerardus. Get our house sword back. We're getting the trait murderer. It's so Game of Thrones. Oh, my God. It was so Game of Thrones. We just got caught in with the most insignificant murder of them all. 
someone somewhere slipped up and let my involvement in the crime be known. Where did his Valyrian steel go? And there it is, Joffrey. Joffrey Goshawk. No. Name him. Name him F Forrest. This kid is so distant. Name him Merrick. That's a strong name. That's going to get very confusing. You will marry. Where is he? What, what's his name? Uh, well, actually, where is he, though? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I should have probably saved him a special interest because it's going to be very hard to dig him up again now, isn't it? Uh, not you, not you, not you, not you. Where did he go? Not marry Edwell. Edwell, there you are. Edwell, I need you to marry my daughter. I need you to marry my daughter. They're already lovers, aren't they? They're already lovers. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that because it is the right and just thing to do. He will take responsibility for the child that he fathered on her. That child, that child is going to be a goddamn genetic mess. That child is more related to Anseric than Anseric is related to Anseric at this point. Anseric, Anseric condensed down. Dist pure distilled Anseric. But you missed all the good parts. Okay, so the question becomes, do we have Valerian still in our pocket? We do not. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, it didn't go to Danwell. It didn't go to Tomad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where did it go, though? Where did it go? Well, this is no use. I want to know the Valerian Steel Sword, not this. Lauren Ironmaker? Who is this? Red Rain. How have you got Red Rain? Um, thank you. Appreciate that. No, no, no. I need to see the specific Valerian Steel Blades. Oh, God. Where has it gone? I can't see it on the list. Oh, no. I'm panicking now. Oh, no. I cannot find it anywhere. Where would it have gone to? It didn't go to his wife. It didn't go to the child that, that they believe was his son. It's now been revealed that it is Edwell Waters, which is interesting. It's just gone. This is the saddest moment of my entire life. I don't think there's much else we could have done other than... Other than going down the diplomacy tree, then. Did it go to one of your other children? Nothing, nothing. Who's this? Lord John? Nothing. Oh my god, where the hell has it gone? I simply can't find it. I've looked through the artifact finder, and it's it's not here. It's gone. It looks like it's alphabetical order, but it's not when you scroll down far enough. I just don't understand how it's disappeared. It's just totally gone. It's totally gone from the game. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is the worst case scenario. This is the worst case scenario. God damn you. God damn you. I think I've just got to accept it's gone. I think I've got to accept all this today was for nothing. It's just all disappeared. It's just fucking gone. Man dies in my dungeon without any living family members. The only living family members he's got is this guy. who are in the process of kidnapping anyway. And he's just... He's just gone. There's no claims. Oh, I guess that's why it's probably gone. Because no one had any claims on it. Wow, that's um very, very annoying. Very f fucking annoying indeed. But it, it is just, it's just gone. I just don't know what to say. It's, it's completely disappeared. That is the end. That is the end of our Valyrian Steel Sword. Gone. Lost to time. I'm so sad. I'm so sad and I'm so annoyed because it doesn't make any fucking sense. But there we are. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. And I've got to accept it in my heart that it is gone. Thank you for joining me. What else can I say? It's, uh, it's it. It's over. I'm devastated. I'm upset. I'm perturbed. My goal was to get us Valyrian steel to take back what we were owed. To really put the cherry on the cake after taking Strongmead back. And instead, I've done irreversible damage to history by destroying a priceless artifact. And I'm, I'm not... I just don't understand why it would do that. I don't understand how that would happen. He had living family members. You'd assume it would go back to the Lord, especially given that it was a, a, a masterwork item. One of a kind. But instead, it's disappeared. One of the guards must have misplaced it during the execution. It is... Gone. I'm so annoyed. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Smexy Grandpa. Thank you, Creepy Uncle Ga Dave and Alex Dimitri and Goatman Gaz, Captain Tess, Jackson, Complex Quanta, Hoofenspiel, Bannigan, Bloodstains Chaos, Caden Bjornstad, Erica, Wazzy, Mr. Irrelevant, Snowy, Kuka, Koopa Ksuka Kumba, Andrew Robershaw, Thomas Law, Ooh, 
Super Chunk, Sajunk1986, Space Urban Cohort, Dreyaron Zangle, Sam, MGS Detect Sound, and Smack You as well. Please help me find my sword. <laughs> I seem to have misplaced it. Thank you as well to Blemish Halo, Max Soplo, No Thoughts Head NC, Ravenous Argo, Darathus, NZ Smithsy, Sandy, who is Shredo, Green King, Rooftopia, The Legend Boss, No Reality, 10,000 pounds of flax, D's nuts, and Lord of Zofa. Goodbye. I'm so sad. Mm-hmm. <laughs>